When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. All right, so let me toss the phone number out real quick. That's 502-571-9970. Kelly, describe what group therapy is all about. Well, this is kind of a place where you can bring an issue you've been struggling with and get some advice from people that Mm -hmm. don't have any emotions invested in the outcome. Yeah. All right. Rebecca, hi. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Okay, so um, thanks so much for allowing us to talk to you about this. Um, So what's up? Okay, so, um, yeah, I need a little bit of help. I'm kind of not sure what to do. It's like a little weird situation. We've come um, to the right place, Rebecca. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's about my boyfriend. So we've been, you know, we live together, mm-hmm. and, you know, we've been together for a while. And, you know, of course, we go out all the time. We go out with our friends, you know, our family. And usually at the end of the night, we end up having the same issue. Okay. And that is he typically wants to stay out later, and I want to go home. You know what? I feel that. I, I, yeah, same. We, Kelly and I wake up so early. It's like, you know what? <laughs> when, when the clock strikes nine, I'm like, okay. Bye. Um, is it time for bed? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, I want my bed. I'm sleepy. Like, I want to get a warm shower, and I want to go home. Like, right. Right. I get it. I don't want to party all night anymore. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so he, he likes to stay out. He still wants to hang out. And, you know, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. He's okay. I'm I'm happy to just go home on my own. Mm-hmm. And he usually, you know, whenever he gets tired, he'll come home. Um, but he's kind of, like, annoyed about it, I guess. Because to him, he's, like, if we leave together, I mean, if we leave separately, then, you know, the people are going to think we're weird if we're doing this all the time. And mm. I, I really don't think that is that big of a deal. I mean, I get it. We live together, you know. You know, at the very least, maybe we're wasting money on Ubers or right. whatever. But I don't think anyone's, like, dissecting our relationship or anything about it. Like, I don't think anyone's like, oh, my God, they're horrible to each other. They hate each other. But Like, oh, why is Rebecca think- leaving without her boyfriend or, you know, things like that? Yeah. yeah, and you okay. know what, I, I get it, but I mean, I really don't think anybody's doing that, but he seems to think so. Okay, so he's a little, he's like, hey, we, we gotta, we came together, we gotta leave together. Yeah, but I mean, I, I really think he's overthinking it. Okay. So, I mean, so basically, I just needed, kind of needed your opinion on who is right. Like, I mean, I think it seems ridiculous for me to stay out longer than I want to. I don't have the energy, you know, I'm no longer having fun at that point. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and especially just to make everyone think we're a solid couple, like, and here I'm thinking like I'm the chill girlfriend, like for not caring, stay out, have fun. And like, it's an issue now. And I'm just like, well, (laughs) can't win for losing. (laughs) Yeah. I just want to go to watch Netflix. Like, (laughs) I mean, oh my gosh, yeah. All right, well, cool. Rebecca, thank you. We, we're already getting some people texting in, so that's good. Uh, 502-571-9970. So hang out, and uh, we'll see if we can help you out here, okay? Please. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. All right, so Jennifer says, it's no one else's business what the two of you do, but I can see what he means. Are you always leaving early, or is it just when you have something else going on? He can't make you stay, but maybe he just wants to be with you and show you off. It's a compromise in relationships. I would say if it's important, then you stay. If what you have is important, then you go. But once again, this relationship is between the two of you, and it shouldn't matter what other people may think. Yeah, I'm kind of like, even though I empathize with leaving early, I kind of am like, yeah, I mean, you come together, you leave together. It's like if you're a couple, I don't know. It, it just seems weird for one person to leave and be like, peace out, I'm out. And then the yes. other person kind of having to just kind of sit there and be like, oh, all right, well, see ya. I guess I'm just going to hang out by myself now for the rest yeah. of the night. Yeah, so. I, I totally agree. Like, maybe they have that discussion before they go out. Like, yeah. all right, how late are we thinking we're going to stay out? Yeah, and maybe. so that maybe he needs to also compromise by not, like, staying out till 2 in the morning every single time they go out. Yeah, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I, think, I think it's going to be a compromise. It's like, all right, she she doesn't leave, you know, early all the time. But if it's like. 
you know, warranted, he wants to stay out and it's going to be a thing, then she can go home. But I think most of the time they have to have that discussion ahead of time. All right. Well, what do you think? 502-571-9970. Maybe you've been in this situation. Maybe you're currently dealing with this yourself. Maybe you can pass along your knowledge to Rebecca. Let us know. It's group therapy. You guys think Rebecca said uh, a different Rebecca. I don't think it's right or wrong. You shouldn't have to stay somewhere if you don't want to. But with that being said, I would be upset if every time we went out somewhere, you were attempting to bail. Right. Not saying you don't have that right. Just saying it would bother me so I see where he's coming from. I've been in this situation with spouses and people do ask and you do get weird looks. Should it matter? No, absolutely not. But he's the one getting the weird looks and questions just like I was. It was uncomfortable, could lead to resentment when all I was asking for was time spent with my spouse and our friends. Or So maybe you compromise. Yeah, and if, especially if he's got to then field the questions of, is she sick? Is she okay? Did she yeah. not like something? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, because it kind of makes it look like you don't like hanging out with them. <laughs> right. So. Brittany texts in and says, no, leave them alone. I think it shows so much trust and independence. I think it's completely healthy that they're able to do this. Maybe compromising occasionally, but being in a healthy relationship doesn't mean you are codependent. The stigma is the issue, not Rebecca and her boyfriend. Well, here's the thing. It's... It, they aren't able to do it. Like, she's the one who's bailing. He's like, no, you want, I want to stay. Yeah. I don't know. Absolutely. Well, and I think, too, I think it's different if there's kids in the picture, too. Because I, I, They didn't know, say that. Whether they, they, yeah, I, we don't know if there is. We're assuming that there's not. But, you know, for us, that kind of absolutely changed how long we're typically staying out. Sure. But if there isn't anything like that to get back to, and I think most people pointed out, if you don't have any... Big reason that you have to get up early the next day. Maybe those are the nights that you linger a little bit longer. Uh, but if you do have things going on the next day and you need to get some good rest, then perfectly acceptable to bail, and he should respect that. Okay. So I think we're saying let's try and compromise a little bit. Like let's you have give discussion. a little, he gives a little. Yeah, before you go out, let's let's discuss how, yeah. how long are we thinking this is going to last tonight. Right, and right. And maybe you, you both try to reach some sort of common ground. Like maybe sometimes he agrees not to stay out super late, and then other times she'll agree to stay out a little bit later than she's normally used to, that kind of thing. And I think maybe then they'll both feel like they're getting a little bit of what they want. Right. Good thought on that. All right, if you want to chime in at Ben and Kelly's show, that's group therapy.